So, so what you have to do these days actually, what you were doing with something? Um, this is usual. Um, first, first thing is first, obviously, still cutting hair, which is um, going quite well. Um, two shots were okay, and you know, this is quite good, and just make a living really, so enjoying that side of it. Um, on that side, obviously, um, my hairdressing is full time, but still, it's absolutely in a part time capacity, but that is full time. Yeah, um, so that's again, that's gone very well for the last say, three or four seasons, and um, just a case of. Uh, yeah, like most of the the season, we've done every small last year, like Conference, I think they've yeah, I think so. I think when I first came to Charlton many years ago, um, Bath were the conference team, and they were one of the best ones in it. Like, I, I think with the, the football in the last eight, five years, the league's changing in the pyramid system with all the flat missed out kind of a lot. Yeah. And um, so last season, the promotion on the conference side was not to be to um, go full time, but we stayed part time, and then we've been so well. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think for the way the coffee's have gone now, is that all most teams being full time. Um, for us to finish 10th uh, in a part of the capacity is um, fantastic. Um, uh, the three teams I think have the four part ready game this season, all three that were part time. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, that's that's really good for us, you know. Yeah. How's Joe Marley done since he joined you? Well, when first Murray joined us, and Everson really well, really pleased with him. Well, I assume we were trying to sort something out. He went back after three months. Um, again, did play great in football. Felt he would get a chance. Um, back in Chatham, never really um, played any first team games on the bench. I think he came on one game. And um, I just think it's a case of, um, you know, we are obviously doing a good deal. We think for his money, giving him you know, an 18 months contract, which I think he was happy with. And, um, he came back and it took a little while to get going again. Obviously, I played for nearly three months. Yeah. And um, come in and say the last probably six or eight games, he's um, obviously got back to his form again and um, the last one so long. Yeah. So, looking back on the Shelton days, we it must be a massive part of your life. You were there for I think 12, 13 years, weren't you, at the club? Yes. Could you could you have believed what what you what you were going to achieve when you first signed in sort of ninety one? I think it was, wasn't it? No, not at all. I think I was going to the ground and asking uh, a gentleman when the ground was and he didn't rise up in the club, and that's quite a <laughs> funny situation. So, but no, as things have gone on, it's. From a different country, and I really enjoyed um, living where I was at the time I came back. And you know, Charlton at the time, I think Lindsay Forrest was there, and I think you know, my parents got me into a while ago. So I was due back into the country quite soon. When I first got there, it was, it was okay for the club, you know, and I didn't really have a thing or nothing at the time. I just came back and see how I did the thing journey in my life. And before you know it, you know, the 12 years went very, very quickly. And now enjoy more good bits and bad bits, you know, from the football club side, because it's a very, very um, a nice step forward from the football club journey, and I think if you look at things at the moment, the club as a whole just needs to, you know, keep ahead of things, keep stable, and keep the top of the trade, really. Yeah. You, your first few years, you, you went down to the Southern League, had a couple of near misses, the promotion, and then... Andy Postle, you know, what, what did he do to change it around so dramatically? Because it was sort of stumbling along a bit, maybe underachieving a little bit in the Southern League, and then he just yeah, came in. And I think it's like, if you imagine the Southern League at the time, it was a very, very good league. If you look at some teams like down in maybe 10 years ago, and not been that far from the plus, you know, so it's difficult to get that song. Um, I think, you know, I think bit by bit, I mean, if you, if you look at what, what Steve done, um, I think Steve got very lucky with the players he inherited at the time. He has a good pair of I think as we moved up the ladder a little bit, I think he got quite fortunate with the character situation by bringing a few of those boys in, which helped us a little bit more quality. Yeah. And, um, so I think we here into quite a good bunch of boys. Um, and I suppose, in a way, you know, we were fortunate at the time to become the second. I think the Grizzly won it by a, uh, by a big distance, and I think we were fortunate enough at the time to. Um, you know, get promoted, but um, you know, within the two years then, again, it was quite a difficult sort of league to get out of even accomplished. You know, we did it so on the first year, we came second after a bit of a, a 
you start. And um, I look at the situation a little bit like this at the moment. A lot of the boys, believe it or not, a lot of them haven't paid this league, but a lot of them have a bit higher again. But lads who haven't paid the league, yeah. believe it or not, have actually found this league a lot easier. Yeah. In fact, we do, we do this group, you know, it's when you grow up sometimes, I think at certain levels you do find it easier because teams are as good as you're playing, but sometimes you think they'll run around 20 miles an hour and they've got to fall a bit more, so I think yeah. that's a bit of a combination of all sort of really, you know what I mean? And, but I wouldn't say Steve done anything, anything better or anything any worse, I just think it's a combination of you know, some managers getting good players in the right time and, and also just came together. Yeah. Just, you know, managing down myself and that sort of thing, you can only do so much. You've yeah. got to trust the lads on the field and that's a big part of football. That's, you know, the, the, a lot of the, a lot of the success really from a manager's point of view, it really comes from the lads on the field. But obviously, you know, it's, you've got to pick the team and, you know, obviously, you know, the cabinet has get us all together and that's, you know, there's a lads on the field that get the credit really, you know, yeah. those times. Yeah. Um, tell me a bit about Mark Yates then, Rosh. Did you play with him? Yeah, I think it was a long, long time, yeah. I think obviously Steve at the time who played. I think Kim and Mark obviously will do one against us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, very competitive and you know, good, good ball winner. And, um, you know, it was a good combination there. I mean, I moved there for years and um, I had some good partners over the years, you know, and set up fields and leaves. And, um, but now I think it's like anything else. You know, Mark can move as well, so I think we get into the cruise inside of it, the man inside of it. And I think he kind of looked upon that as a sort of great finishing. Um, um, like I've done the same, obviously, why not? Yeah, obviously, not a pivot, it's going to be well there. And, um, well, perhaps we've done where probably have got that success anyway, you know? Yeah, well, we've probably managed to think there's two clubs to play for and, you know, manage. So, yeah, good luck to I've seen them a few times here and there, and, yeah, I know now how difficult it is. Yeah, you know, it was a very difficult check in that. And you've got to make decisions, and sometimes they're there. When you win, they're good decisions. Yeah. You know, when you do win, they're not so good. But that's football, you know. But um, I think it's important, you know, this day and age, for all because of how football people in charge. Yeah. You know, whether they're you know, putting money or big money into it, it's simply for people because football doesn't always, you know, give you the right. Um, you can say they don't always give you that the right, right touch and win games. Yeah. You know, it's been games this season when. Bad week one, we didn't sort of win. There's other games that we've done week one, and what does that mean? That's yeah. the But we have people who want to keep chopping the change and manage every two minutes, then um, I do think clubs really good for us, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, how did you end up sort of going into hairdressing? Because I think when you were a child, you were, you were at one stage working at a scrap metal place, weren't you? Yeah, I did actually, yeah. It's one of those sort of things where I, when, I, when I came back from Australia, I knew to obviously give it knock on the head for a few years, and I went to football, especially on Saturdays. Yeah. And um, probably a job working in scrap. Scrap trade, which is it was a great lad for up in there. Yeah. Um, then when we went full time in Chatham, I gave that up and went back into full time football. And um, it just went there to where eventually, um, um, when they were asked to do something, because I couldn't go play them forever, and yeah. so I think, you know, I got back into a few courses, got the bug for it again. Um, I bought into the shop here, got another shop going very soon where we live, and um, yeah, and ever since then, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I've really enjoyed the. Uh, so I don't know, cutting people's hair, I quite like doing that, and I quite yeah. enjoy the other you know, side of talking to people and the other football, you know, and all of the story and tell, you know, and a lot of Crystal people are eating the rooms in the city. Yeah. 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 And, um, no, it's, it's an interesting job, you know, it's a nice job, you know, we get all sorts in here. Yeah. And the local tramp, the local barristers, <laughs> the local policemen, so you know, we get more there, so it's good fun.